there, Jason. I don't think it could get a lot better. I mean, it's not going to be that windy. It's going to be dry and it's going to be nice out. It's not even going to be humid. So we are looking at wonderful conditions for Ragbri for tomorrow. Uh, you can see along that route, 61 degrees if you're waking up right and early and starting. Winds will be calm at that point. As we head into the afternoon, those will pick up just a little bit, but still 81 degrees. Uh, even a little bit of cloud cover to block out some of that sunshine for you. And if you're headed out Friday too, I got 65 miles. Temperature starting off a little bit warmer though, and it's going to be a bit breezier of a day. 68 at 6 o'clock in the morning. And we're talking winds upwards of 15 miles an hour sustained into the afternoon. So that may be a little bit more difficult of a trip for you. Let's look at the winds that we've got along the route for tomorrow. Um, you can see early on here, very calm conditions along the entire stretch. And those will generally pick up 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, single digits. And as we head into the afternoon, some gusts possible. Keep in mind, this is wind gusts, not sustained winds of 12 to 13 miles an hour. And as you past Troy and head up, uh, you're on your way towards Fairfield. That wind's going to be at your back, so that's going to be feeling uh, pretty good as it's cruising in out of the south. So wish all you guys luck out there for tomorrow. It's looking to be uh, nearly a perfect day for you uh, to head out and do that. Right now, it's pretty beautiful too. 76 degrees. Again, humidity has been low all day long and really for the past few days, it's been just comfortable. Statewide, not a lot going on as far as uh, sky conditions are concerned. We go regionally and our next system now it's off to the west and they're seeing some stronger storms than we will see out of this thing. But if you're headed west, showers and thunderstorms, rapid city down through around Denver or so. So our beautiful area high pressure is going to depart and that means our clear skies will be ending for a little bit too. You can see out ahead of that next system kicking up the cloud cover and even a chance at an isolated to scattered shower uh, through northern portions of the state. But if you're traveling west, it's going to be warmer. 90 for North Platte, 84 for Kansas City as well as the metro. 85 for Green Bay, cooler upwards towards Minneapolis where their high on the day is 79. And if you're not uh, a rag Brian tomorrow, how about some running? It'll be perfect for it. 63 to start the day, 6 mile an hour wind. That is absolutely perfect out there for tomorrow. So I could see that breeze pick up a little bit uh, through central portions of the day. And those clouds are going to start to increase into the afternoon, but should stay dry in the metro. Again, could see an isolated shower for northern portions of the state. 87 on Friday with sunshine. We're back to near 90 Saturday and Sunday after a system moves through and brings us chances for showers and thunderstorms on Sunday. We are cooling back down 83 degrees on Wednesday.